Welcome to chapter 14 of the book of Jeremiah. If you hear any loud sounds uh, going through another storm here on the Oregon coast, it's in February, middle of winter, and a storm comes in every once in a while and hits around 30 miles an hour and rattles the uh, shutters and the roof and so forth. And so uh, this part of the life on the Oregon coast but nothing as bad as what he have, poor Jeremiah has to go through, and he writes down here. But we'll continue in 14, verse 1, and it says, And came to pass the logos of the Lord to Jeremiah. Uh, the word of the Lord. Uh, again, the, the word, Jesus was the word, concerning the drought. So the Lord... Uh, is talking to Jeremiah. Apparently there was a a drought going on uh, as far as water. They did have some underground uh, springs and and going into Jerusalem that people could have, but apparently the whole land was dry because it says, uh, Judea mourned and her gates are emptied and are enveloped in darkness upon the I had earth, and I was thinking, I may think maybe it could be land. And the cry of Jerusalem ascended because of the water. I don't know yet if they have been uh, put under siege by Nebuchadnezzar. It doesn't say, so uh, we'll just continue. And her great men sent their younger ones for water. So it doesn't sound like it was under siege if they were able to go out looking for water. And they came upon wells uh, and did not find water. They returned their receptacles empty. So they went out looking for water, came back, nothing. And the works erga of the land failed, uh, all the crops that is, uh, that were that needed water to grow, so forth, uh, vineyards and uh, uh, with free, uh, groves or fruit trees, for there was not any eatos. Hiatol, the hiatol reigns. A hiatol, eatos comes from that. Now, the farmers were ashamed. That, excuse me. <coughs> they covered their head. The, well, that's a, it's a figure of sheep, of speech. They're not ashamed of doing anything wrong. It's just that they're, you know, they're not producing anything, so they're bummed out. And, uh, the hinds in the field gave birth and abandoned their um, offspring, for there was not pasturage, so nothing was growing because of this drought. The wild donkeys stood upon the groves and uh, drew wind as dragons, that is, they sniffed for water, see if they could find waters. And their eyes failed, for there was not grass and nothing to eat. Uh, the animals were suffering, man was suffering. And worse was the spiritual condition of Israel. Since our sins opposed us, O Lord, do not, I'm sorry, do for us because of your name. Help just because of your name. For our sins are many before you. So Jeremiah is confessing the sins of the nation. Hopefully that God will bring the rain uh, and acknowledge in the sins. Against you we sinned. You are the endurance of Israel, O Lord, delivering in time of evils. So he's acknowledging that God is the one that can uh, deliver, and uh, the delivering in the time of evils. Uh, Jesus came to deliver uh, the people of Israel, but he was rejected. And uh, the deliverance of God comes, and salvation in the King James comes to everyone since Christ came, uh, that hearers of Christ, uh, this delivering, and it's always generally in a time of evil, because if there's not God, then uh, I don't know how well a society does without God. Um, I suppose if you have other gods and you have laws, you can uh, get by with those, uh, but evils were definitely reigning in Israel, and he says, why did you become as a sojourner upon the land. You're 
like you don't care. You're just walking through. And as a native born, turning aside uh, for lodging. And now, I'm not exactly sure what that means, a native born person uh, turning aside for lodging, diverting his attention away, probably. Will you be as anthropos apnon, a man sleeping? Uh, anthropology comes from that. And apnon, we have hypno uh, from the hypnotic, uh, hypnotism, putting people to sleep. You can add that to your English derivatives book. Uh, are you, so are you as a man sleeping? You don't know what's going on? Or as a man not being able to deliver? Somebody that doesn't care, is, couldn't do anything about anything. So, But you are among us, O Lord, and your name is called upon us. You should not forget us. Thus says the Lord to this people. So now it changes uh, to God's uh, doing the speaking. They... They loved to move their feet uh, and spared not. Let's go down and see what we have down there for the footnote for that, to wander. That was what it was for God. Uh, they loved to move their feet, to wander, wander away from God, and spared not. We're encouraged to do that and did it a lot. And God prospered not the way among them. So when, they, when you wander, then your way is not going to be prospered, as I found out the hard way, pardon the pun. But uh, God, and God will not will allow a person to go and uh, do harm to themselves. And I look at today in the news, and there's, oh, just so many things that are horribly happening between man and man and um, animals and animals and men and anim man and animals and so forth. Now, the iniquity uh, shall be remembered, and he visited their sins. So uh, you're not going to get away when you do walk away. God will remember or see the iniquity, and he will do something about it. And the Lord said to me, do not pray for this people for good. Again, as he did before, I don't want to hear any prayers for anything good to happen to this people. When that happens, when people quit praying for you, uh, it's a sad place to be. I relish people praying for me uh, for good things to happen. I have a real prayer warrior and a friend, Mary Jo, and um, Rich, another good friend who prays, and other people that write me and say that they pray um, for me and for these video seminars and so forth. And I relish the prayers. And I can't imagine uh, going through... Uh, Without, without being able to pray or to have uh, be in a, such a situation that God doesn't even want me to pray or somebody to pray for me because I've uh, done so badly. For if they should fast, the evildoers, I will not listen uh, to their supplication. So if you, basically what it comes down to, if you don't have a change of heart, repentance is what Jesus called it, and a uh, um, and a change of mindset, uh, fasting and um, isn't going to help, nor is <clears throat> the prayers of here, it said, nor is the um, sacrifices at the temple and so forth. I will not listen to their supplication, the asking for something. And if they should bring whole burnt offerings <clears throat> and sacrifices, I will not think well in them. <clears throat> Excuse me. For by sword and by famine and by death, uh, I will finish them off entirely. Um, I changed that to in, by, as the other ones had, um, I will not think well in them, for in sword, you couldn't say in source, it's by sword and by famine, so I continued with the by. Uh, death, I will finish them off entirely. You can take that out of the uh, brackets and the numbers out of there in your Bible if you'd like. I have to remember to do that myself. And I said, O being one, O Lord, uh, that's interesting that uh, Jeremiah calls him the being one, who, who was uh, what God said 
uh, was it, um, I think, was it Moses when he covered him up and he went by and he was in the rock and he was the one who was and is and is to come, uh, the being one, <clears throat> uh, Kyrie, uh, Lord, was capital L-O-R-D, L-O, all cap, then it's uh, Yahweh, Jehovah, uh, oh, being one, Jehovah, uh, behold, the prophets prophesy and say, uh, you shall not see a sword, nor shall hunger uh, be among you, but truth and peace uh, I shall appoint, or God shall appoint upon the land and in this place. This is what the prophets uh, were telling the people, uh, that um, all these other things that were not true. And the Lord uh, said uh, to me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, and I gave charge. I gave I, I gave charge to them not, and spoke not to them, for lying visions and divinations and omens and resolves of their own heart they prophesy to you. Uh, a divination is something that you seek from a god. Uh, you, uh, that's why the word divine is in there. Uh, you seek a, 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 an idol, basically, or uh, a god of the sun, moon, stars, or of nature, a snake god, whatever type of a god. You seek uh, a, something from that god as far as directions and so forth. Uh, lying visions, s- thinking that you saw something, and you're telling people that I saw this, but yet it really didn't happen making it up, or you're on some kind of a psychotic drug, uh, or in a state of sin that you just say things and they're not true. Uh, And omens. And omens were, uh, instead of seeking a divinity, you sought a natural phenomenon, like uh, they opened up animals and uh, went through the entrails, and uh, and then they looked at um, different kinds of rocks and springs of water coming out of the earth and steam and so forth. Uh, these were the omens. And the resolves of their own heart, they prophesy. So they, they come up whatever they want to uh, come up with. Now, false prophets have been around. Uh, they were there. We mentioned the false prophets uh, at the time of Jeremiah. The false prophets were before and they were after the time of uh, Jesus and the time of the um, early church and Paul going out and running across false prophets and being warned by um, John, I think it is. And um, and they went down and throughout history of the church uh, into uh, the 21st and the 20, uh, 20th century. And we see, uh, I see prophets and since I've been walking with the Lord, well, came back and born from above in 1979, and then all the different prophecies of of the end times. Um, Gorbachev was the the leader of the Soviet Union, was the Antichrist, where now he's an old man and uh, he's not the Antichrist. And uh, all sorts of people write me about who that what they, you know, who they think the Antichrist is. Well, you know, Guessing who somebody is is different than prophesying. Prophesying is saying this is going to happen. If you think it might happen, well, that's not, that's a different thing. But then they prophesied the end of uh, when the Jesus's return, which never happened. Um, there were false prophets in uh, different uh, types of cults. You can go on the internet and look up false prophets. There's one site I saw a list of false prophets, and it's just in the 19. 19- just in the 20th century, I don't know, 50 or 60 different false prophecies were given out. And it's on the uh, internet. But I don't want to bring into a whole lot of things about who the, what these false prophets and who they were um, and fall into that. Uh, but false prophets are still around today. And on account of this, thus says the Lord. Concerning the prophets prophesying lies in my name, and I sent them not who say, sword and famine will not be upon this land, by a diseased death, uh, the prophets, uh, uh, that's what they said, and then the the dash, by a diseased death, 
the prophets shall die, and by hunger they shall be finished off entirely. God does not like uh, what false prophets do, like lying about God. I uh, can't think of much worse. Even the people to whom they prophesy to them are going to suffer basically all these things. And they will be tossed in the streets of Jerusalem when Nebuchadnezzar comes from in front of the sword and of the famine. And there will not, and the famine could be in Jerusalem because of the city being surrounded for a long period of time and running out of food. It's probably the same thing. And there will not be one entombing them. They're going to be slaughtered, bodies laying out, even their wives and their sons and their daughters. All of them are going to be killed, and many of them are taken out. I shall pour out against them for their evils. And you shall say to them this word, will lead down tears unto your eyes day and night, and let them not stop. For by a great defeat, uh, the daughter of my people was defeated, even by an exceedingly grievous beating. So almost like rubbing it in. I told you so. This is what was going to happen. God said to not do this. You did it. So now uh, you're going to be defeated by a great defeat. And it keeps on going here. We're only in the 14th chapter. And I think there's like almost 50 chapters. If I should go forth into the plain, then behold, one slain by sword. Uh, and if I should... Uh, enter into the city, then behold, the misery of famine, for priest and prophet were gone into a land which they knew not, Babylon. Did by rejecting you reject Judah, and has your soul uh, removed itself from Zion? Why did you smite us, and there is not a healing for us? Well, we waited for peace, but there was not good for a time of healing, but behold, only disturbance. We knew, O oh Lord, our sins. Well, they really didn't, but Jeremiah is doing his best to cover them up. Uh, the sins and the iniquities of our fathers. Well, that's different. They did know that. For we sinned before you. And the reason they know that is because it was written down by the uh, Moses and the prophets, <clears throat> the kings. <clears throat> Abate on account of your name. You should not destroy the throne of your glory, that would be in Jerusalem or the temple and so forth, holy of holies. Remember, you should not efface your covenant with us. Is there one among the idols of the nations causing rain? No, only God, Jehovah. And shall an idol give the heaven its fullness? No, idol can, can't do anything, only Jehovah, only the Lord. Is it not you being he, O Lord our God? And we shall wait on you, for you made all these. Made the earth, the stars, the sun, the constellations, black holes, any whatever kind of holes there are, square holes, round holes. He made everything. And uh, he says, we will wait on you, for you made all these things. Well, the you may be him and his friends, but not very many people in Israel were waiting on the Lord. And how many people in Israel are waiting on the Lord? <clears throat> and are we, are you waiting upon the Lord? And am I waiting upon the Lord? The meno is in there. Ipomeno is the root word. The meno means uh, to abide, uh, to stay with. And we will wait on you, and this is what Jesus tells us to do, is to remain, to wait for him, wait on him, wait with him. And so hopefully uh, we will all be stronger in reading the words and to wait for the Lord. Chapter 15 still gets worse. The Lord will avenge. Hope you'll join us in the next video seminar, or Chapter 15, and God bless.